How do I begin to tell you about these two wonderful people? Vicky, my firstborn, who has turned into a beautiful, clever, and most importantly, kind woman. I can't believe it is 34 years since a tiny baby girl arrived into my life, followed a few minutes later by a nearly identical sister. <laughs> <laughs> to say life changes is an understatement, but what a joy. Some of my happiest memories are of us living in Florida and the girls turning into very blonde, beach-loving babies <laughs> with a slight American accent. I am proud of everything you have achieved, especially in your work. Vicky, over the last few years, you've been my rock. And have helped me more than I can ever thank you for. You've been amazing and I love you so much. <sighs> Matt, thank you so much for being in Vicky's life. You make her so happy and have supported her in everything she does. Thank you for being you, handsome, kind, funny. I'm so proud to call you my son-in-law and I love you loads. Welcome and bienvenue to you, the family and friends of Matt and Vicky. Welcome to France, to the commune of moulier val and the beautiful Chateau Rigaud. You have all been invited here today as the special and important people in the lives of Matt and Vicky to share and to celebrate with them today. In the years that they've been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and now they've decided to live their lives as husband and wife. This is a serious and deep commitment to each other, which they are asking you to witness and to share in. And in so doing, they ask for your support of their marriage in the years to come. Vicky first met in Brighton University in 2007. They tell me that Brighton is a place which is very close to their hearts. The memories they created there will never be forgotten. It was the place where their relationship blossomed and grew to where they're standing here today. It was also the place that Vicky first saw a pizza with an egg on top when Matt ordered it on their very first date. She was shocked at the time, but now I'm reliably informed that a Florentine is one of her favorite pizzas. I asked them why they chose France and Chateau Rigaud, and they told me that they love the wine and the weather. But most importantly, they felt an immediate sense of warmth and character about Chateau Rigaud, which they felt suited their relationship. So what could be more fitting than that they should choose to celebrate their very special day here in this beautiful setting amongst their family and their friends. The institution of marriage is wonderful. There's nothing more joyous than finding your soulmate, the one you love, the one you want to spend the rest of your life with. But as those of us who are married can testify, it's not always a bed of roses. There will be times when you have to dig that little bit deeper work that little bit harder and support one another that little bit more. My father once said to me that a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Matt and Vicky, today is the start of a lifelong union, a future which you will experience not just as individuals, but together, united as husband and wife. And now is the time to commit your vows to one another and through these vows, in the presence of us all gathered here, you affirm your commitment to your married life together. And Matt, will you repeat after me? I, Matt. I, Matt. Take you, Vicky, for my wife. Take you, Vicky, for my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Vicky. I, Vicky. Take you, Matt, for my husband. Take you, Matt, as my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Vicky, I could not have imagined anyone else to go on life's journey with. 
I know at times we are indecisive, but if there is one decision that we got right, it was deciding to spend the rest of our lives together. I want to share all the wonders of life with you, and I promise I will be by your side for all life's challenges. I love everything about you, even how much you love Westlife, or cry at Don't Tell the Bride. <laughs> I love when you're cold and you snuggle up to my abnormal warmth, even if it makes me cold. I love how caring you are towards everyone and everything, and of course, I just love every moment I'm with you because you make me the happiest man on, on earth. As your husband, I promise I will support and protect you through thick and thin. I will be there to comfort you in times of need. I will always be honest and loyal to you. I will make you laugh or smile at every opportunity. I will always make you happy and I will grow old with you. I will be your best friend, your lover and your soulmate. You are my world, you are my everything and I will always love you. Matt, my soulmate, my best friend, my rock. I genuinely knew the moment I saw you in your Brighton student house that you were going to make an impact on my life and here we are 12 years later. You bring so much happiness to so many people in your life, but most of all to me. You're the most generous, selfless and caring person I know and you make me beyond happy. I count my lucky stars every day when I come home to you that we found each other. Matt, I promise to love you as much as yesterday and even more tomorrow. I promise to be there for you always and to keep you smiling in our lives together. I promise to always make the most special memories with you and I look forward to growing older together, supporting one another and witnessing our love and friendship continue to deepen every day. I promise to always be your best friend, to be there when you need me the most and most of all, be the best wife I can be. Love you. And so with our blessing, I declare you husband and wife. So Vix, at this point, it's kind of tradition for me to welcome you to the family. But I'm not sure it's necessary, because long before today, you became a permanent member of our exclusive, but slightly dysfunctional gang. You're a best friend to my mum, like a daughter to Jeff, a sister to Will and I, and an ally for my wife Abby when things get a little bit too crazy. Matt, what an incredible roller coaster it's been. I honestly couldn't have asked for a better wingman throughout our childhood. You've grown into, and this hurts me to say, a great human being. Kind, generous, loyal. I seriously do count myself lucky to have you as a brother. It truly fills me with such happiness to know that you two have found your perfect partner, because that's how it feels. All of us in this room can see just how much you mean to one another, and that's truly special. Is it video? Yeah. Okay. So, a lot of people ask me what it's like to be a twin. It's hard to describe other than it's a special bond that the majority of people are not lucky enough to experience. It's like having a best friend with you all the time that's also the same height as you, has the same shoe size, studies the same degree, goes to the same university, has the same taste in music, rest I've actually always garage, yeah. And has the same best friends. Going to Brighton University really was a life-changing experience for us. We had our little flat that we loved. We'd watch Friends DVDs on repeat, go through a bottle of Frambrini while getting ready, ready to head to Becky to meet Merve. <laughs> um, and before going out and just generally having the best time of our lives. And Brian was also where she met Matt. It was because of how close we are that when Vic told me 12 years ago that she'd met a guy on a night out that proceeded to spend every day with him until we graduated uni, I was nervous about meeting who this guy. But I needn't be, Matt didn't care about me being a third wheel and always made me feel welcome. He's also the reason I met Andy, so I kind of owe you, Matt. The days we spend as four are my favourite times, as well as the house parties they have at theirs with all of our friends. I couldn't imagine Vic with a better guy. He sports her rotten, he cooks, he supports her career and her late nights at work, and buys her pedigree cats. And when I was organising Vic's hen in Marbella, hashtag Biggie Sex to Be, I asked all the girls to describe Matt in three words. And Kath's answer really resonated with me. Perfect for Vicky. And I kind of like my three words too. Brother-in-law. It's been a pleasure to see you both flourish and become the couple that you are today. I think it's clear for everyone to see how happy you make each other. Matt, I can honestly say it's been an honour to be your best man today as you're a great friend and also godfather to my daughter, Elia. 
Vic or Notorious VIC as Matt likes to call you. It's pretty safe to say you look absolutely stunning today as do your bridesmaids, Ange, Kat, Nick and Jade. And also, if I do say myself, you made a great choice of flower girls with the beautiful Izzy and Aliyah. I think it goes without saying, but I'm sure everybody in this room would agree with me when I say you're one of the sweetest and most kind-hearted people I know. You're always great company and I'm privileged to be able to class you as a good friend. So I couldn't think of anyone more perfect for Matt to spend the rest of his life with. We all wish you both nothing but the very best of the future. Both with hearts of solid gold, you're a perfectly matched couple in all respects and we sincerely hope that you have a long, happy and healthy life together. It probably won't sound it, but it took me 4,483 days to write this speech because the day I met Vicky was the day I knew she was the one. Granted, there's a lot of days there, but I've cherished each and every one of those. <laughs> and today is by far the day I will treasure the most. So Vicky, I'm proud and honoured to be standing here as finally your husband. <laughs> Our furry friend Jensen could not be here today. But he did leave us with a few words. Meow, 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 meow. Or, or in other words, Mummy, you look dreamy today. Like me, you are very lucky to have Matt. Feeds us, cleans up after us, plays with us, and of course, loves us. So well done for locking him down today. <laughs> Don't worry about me here at home. I'm having a great time plucking your sofa, sleeping in your bed. I hope everyone enjoyed my gym bar earlier, and I hope you all have a perfect time tonight. Love you, poor ways, Jensen. Vic, or should I say wifey, I will never lose that loving feeling for you. And I'm the luckiest man in the world getting married to you, the girl of my dreams, twice in one week. You've made all my dreams come true, and you will continue to do so for the rest of our lives together. We have made so many amazing memories by one another's side, and I can assure you that there are plenty more we will make together. Vic, I am no Shane, so I won't sing, but it would be peculiar if I didn't quote Westwood. Apologies, it's, it's probably a bit cheesy, uh, but I generally mean this. Vic, you raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas, and I'm strong when I'm on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. You truly are the light when it is dark, my warmth when I am cold, and my smile when I am down, down. You brighten up everything with your kindness, beauty, and love, and I wouldn't be complete without you. Vicky, from the bottom of my heart, I love you always and forever.